Hello, I'm Jim Goodrich, Product Sales Specialist at PBI Gordon. In today's video, we'll be demonstrating proper bark banding technique for the suppression of nuisance olive fruit with Gordon's Atromec Plant Growth Regulator. Before you apply any product, you should always thoroughly read the entire label first. Observe all precautions and follow directions carefully. Use strictly in accordance with precautionary statements and directions and with applicable state and federal regulations. When applying Atromec Plant Growth Regulator, you must wear the proper personal protective equipment. In the case of Atromec, applicators and other handlers must wear long sleeve shirts and long pants, chemical resistant gloves made of waterproof material, shoes plus socks. The olive tree we will be treating today has a 24 inch diameter at breast height. This is determined by measuring the trunk approximately 4 to 5 feet up or at average breast height. For multi-stemmed plants, such as this olive with two stems off the main trunk, measure the diameter of each stem at 4.5 feet from the soil. Add the individual diameters of each stem to determine the total diameter of the tree at breast height. The bark banding Atromec rate for olives is 3 ounces per 12 inches of diameter. For our 24 inch diameter tree, we will need a total of 6 ounces of Atromec in 2 gallons of water. For each gallon of water, we add 1 half to 1 ounce of 100% organosilicone surfactant to aid in bark penetration. Shake well or agitate your spray solution. The timing of your application is critical. Once the tree is in bloom, adequate suppression will not be achieved. For optimum suppression, make a single application two to four weeks prior to bloom when flower buds are at pinhead size or smaller. During the application, use low pressure to avoid drift or bounce back of material from the tree. Apply the solution to completely cover the entire surface of the bark around each individual trunk from breast height to root flare. Take your time, circling the tree to allow maximum absorption and minimize runoff. To achieve maximum fruit suppression, you must make sure that you are applying the full rate of Atromec solution for each tree. For this 24 inch diameter tree, we are applying two gallons of solution. The entire two gallons must be applied for adequate control. Avoid treating trees with wet bark. If this is not possible, and you are making the application to a tree that is already wet due to rain or irrigation, take extra care to avoid runoff and allow adequate time for absorption. When performing the calibration of your sprayer, please keep in mind that it may take up to several minutes to spray one gallon of water depending on your equipment. Before you begin the calibration, clean the sprayer and nozzle thoroughly. Then, fill the spray tank with clean water. Dispense the water through the nozzle to check for uniform spray pattern. If the pattern is uneven, check to make sure the nozzle is clean and replace it if needed. Adjustable nozzles should be set and marked to permit repeated use of the selected spray pattern. To begin the calibration, fill the sprayer with one gallon of water. Next, pressurize the sprayer. Start your stopwatch and begin spraying water into a bucket until the entire gallon has been emptied from the sprayer. In the event you are using a sprayer with a battery powered pump, such as the sprayer I am using, the pressure is maintained for you by the pump. Note how long it took to empty the gallon of water from the sprayer. This time will be the standard time of application to apply one gallon of spray solution. As previously mentioned, during the application use low pressure to avoid drift or bounce back of material from the tree. Apply the solution to completely cover the entire surface of the bark around each individual tree from breast height to root flare. Take your time circling the tree to allow maximum absorption and minimize runoff. This has been a demonstration of the bark banding application technique developed for the suppression of nuisance olive fruit with Atromec Plant Growth Regulator. It is for use by professional landscape applicators. To summarize, follow these simple steps for successful olive fruit suppression. Time your application when flower buds are at pinhead size or smaller. Measure the diameter of your tree trunk, including all stems below four and a half feet from the soil line. Add the diameters of all stems and all trees to be treated. Mix treatment solution at a rate of three ounces Atromec plant growth regulator plus one ounce 100% organosilicone surfactant in one gallon of water for each 12 inches of tree diameter to be treated. Use very low pressure for your application to avoid runoff and bounce back. Thank you for taking the time to review this demonstration. Incorporating Atromec bark banding in your olive fruit suppression program will save you time and money and enhance the beauty of the properties under your care.